Behind this technology that we all love is something called code, and it's a language. And this is gonna be one of the most important languages to learn because we, we love all this technology and we love our phones and we love video games and there are other all sorts of cool real world applications you can do with code. But that is how, how technology works. Hour of Code is just a national initiative done by code.org. Uh, they're front running it and it's just a way for kids to get involved with coding and learning about Java and all the things that go underneath our technology. Who's ready to code? In the games we're doing, we're putting it into, like, we're giving it instructions and then it turns it into code for us. It's pretty user friendly. I jumped on and I think I saw on Twitter the Star Wars and I was like, I like Star Wars. So I coded Star Wars and then, I was like, oh, they have Minecraft too? And I know absolutely nothing about Minecraft, but I know these kids love Minecraft. So it was kind of just a hook to go, hey, you know, I was coding Minecraft. You were doing what? Well, I was coding a little bit of Minecraft. You want to check it out? Yeah, okay, well, let me show it on the big board to you. And then they're off and running, and it's very minimal poking and prodding. It's, they're, they're gone. They're, they're off on, on a tangent, and you, don't, you just have to kind of stand back and go, you're doing great, keep it up. It's pretty fun. Me and Mac, we would play Star Wars the entire time, and there's a couple levels that they create for you. So you could play it, and you would learn, and then at the end, it would let you do your own thing, and you could create your own. Is this, is this hard to do? Not really. Hope to do some more of it in the future? Yeah. So what do you want to do? I did that, but it's a try again. Oh, no, I'm going to go straight. Oh, oh you should. No. Oh, come on, dude. Oh. I can't. We have these times embedded in our schedule where um, I can grab grade levels and do it with them. Um, and I wrote a grant I really want to do an after school program. I know that there's kids that want to do it, so if I can hook them in after school and, and, and keep it going, um, it's only going to help critical thinking and problem solving. Hey, let's see if this one works. Yes.